Hi, I'm Christopher. Hi, Seth. everybody. This is Bob. Hey, guys. Bergen. This is Stephanie Shea. Hey, I'm Veronica Taylor. Hey, everybody. This is Billy West. Hey, guys. I'm Ryan Coltley. Hi, this is Kyle Abraham. Hi, this is Kira Buckley. Hi, I'm Jameson Price. Hi, I'm Sean Chiplock. You are listening to Two Dads. You're listening to the Two Dads. 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 Two so do I. I feel very powerful today. I am working on catching them all. I feel powerful with my party. My party is six. Go take down some elite fours with our six. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take out the evil teens. <laughs> so when we started this <laughs> sometime last year, I started, you know, with picking the best or some of the best Pokemon. Now. <laughs> ah, there's. I've gone so far off the rails, but and I you know, still you know, love that's, this that's party. Okay. That's okay. And See, and the party is good. It is still serviceable. It's It'll still yeah, beat it, the the elite four. Well, and I mean, especially if you have them all at like level eighty something. Because look, who's not obnoxious. gonna? Who's not gonna? You know, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't even wake up out of bed without without a level eighty. Don't ask where this reference is going. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It. I wasn't going to ask, it. so that's, that's that's perfectly fine. I so by the time this has come out, it'll be a later day than it is today. So let's jump into it. I'm yeah, so yeah. good today. Um, we <laughs> are we're, we're <laughs> we are into the sixth gen <laughs> of Pokemon. If you didn't quite catch Talos up on that region X, Y, and Z. This is the what? Well, yeah, we were just talking about it. This is like the Francis region. Um, it was a really cool game. They had a lot of great aspects. They worked into the game itself. The series I haven't watched a lot of, but what I have watched, I, I quite enjoyed this. This, this the generation, the the anime for X and Y was actually pretty enjoyable. I watched quite a bit of it with my son. And I, and I don't know if nowadays I, I think this at the time I know for sure this was like the short the smallest amount of new releases for the Pokemon and I've complained about that in the past sometimes but I, th- I when I think about it like especially for this gen they really put some thought into it and and some care and they put some, a lot of really unique stuff in this generation that they hadn't done before. Yeah, um, a lot of dual typings and and the typings that you like wouldn't that. expect for sure. And we got the fairy and, type. Yeah, we got the fairy type finally. And they finally. they only introduced seventy two Pokemon to this generation. You said it was small, but this was just seventy two, which yeah. is really small compared to <laughs> some yeah. of the others for sure. But they were they were really good. You know, there weren't no garbage Pokemon in this, like literal legitimately. Garbage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, and, and so I, I really enjoyed this this set. So I'm going to start with my first, and it's going to be Delphox. Um, oh, nice! I thought that the the typing on that this, was su- the starters. The, all three starters were super unique. They were this solid. One. I, I loved it. Yeah, I don't think I really disliked them too much. Uh, I, I picked the fire one because obviously I love fire. I of course, love psychic Greninja was really cool, and the I I forget what the name of the other one the, the ground grass the, yeah the was f- grass fighting which was actually even fighting. weirder because yeah. we're so used to firefighting you know and then they, they come was, out with grass fighting yeah he was a, he was a tanky little dude but as far as base stats uh, when you got to Del Fox it was the best of the three it was heavy on special and speed so the special offense was good its special defense was good and its speed was fast which most of the fire ones are the faster ones and when you look at like its effectiveness against other typings it was weak to a decent amount because you know psychic is weak to ghost and dark and fire is weak to you know water and ground and rock types but it was resistant to a ton because of its typing. It had a oh, yeah. whopping seven resistances. and Which um, is a lot. But it also and, meant it was either living or dying. Like, there, there wasn't much in between. <laughs> but with its high special defense, it took some work to get it out. It wasn't immune to anything, but it was resistant to the dreaded fairy type, which fucked some people up. Yeah, I mean... Delphox was great. 
And yes, Del Fox had 534 versus 530 for the other two. So a whole four yeah. stat hey, higher. <laughs> again, hey, I think four is more than zero. So, um, I, and I know you love the uh, infinite Pokedex percent. entries. Infinite percent. You. Oh, yeah. I love <laughs> I the Pokedex know. entries. Uh, so it gazes at the tip of its branch to to focus itself and allows it to see in the future. And it can also generate 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit to incinerate foes swept into its whirl of flame. You, you not, know not these Pokedex entries were written by kids. Foes. You know they were written by kids. It, <laughs> it doesn't knock its foes out. It incinerates <laughs> them. So these are a little darker on this one. I love it. Well, unintentionally, I chose the starter... And oddly enough, not the starter I actually went with when I played the game. Ooh. Yeah. So the one I'm sending out first is Greninja. Nice. And, and, and I love it's Greninja. for a, a few different reasons. One, my Greninja is going to wreck your Delphox. L- yeah, let's just well, be honest here. He he takes zero uh, it's from, got the fi- type from Psychic and half damage resistance to fire but yeah. of course it's a crazy type advantage but he's fast greninja is fast 122 speed is crazy <laughs> yeah it's a fucking water ninja <laughs> like it's it was perfect water ninja high attack high special attack and high speed he's a glass cannon 100 yeah. percent glass cannon and that's why of- I, I i shade away from putting him in my party even though i love him he is the most recognizable look I'm, I'm just getting my one hit ko's and, and, used, and moving on but i knew you would love him because he is glass cannon and you love your glass cannons i do i, I do however when i played x and y i went with chestnut I went with the grass fighting because I wanted to do something very different. And and that's just it. I wanted to do something different because it was wholly unique. You grass fighting type and he's got this giant shell. He's like a tank. It was just, it was weird. And I liked it. And I don't usually go tanky Pokemon. I'm usually high attack, high speed. And look, Greninja, like, like you said, he is easily the most recognizable and part of why I chose Greninja is because of the anime, because of the dynamic him and Ash had and having that whole like joining together. It was almost like doing a Z move before those were even, you know, a thing. And right, right. it was kind of a mix of Z move and mega evolution. And he turned into this just really cool form and his shiny is really cool. It's almost black with a red tongue instead of blue with a pink <laughs> tongue. And also, I think another reason that he was so popular is because in the TCG, he was, he was great through he still has pretty good useful cards even today. Oh, yeah. With the oh, yeah. V form, but the GX form was just, you know, you could chip damage with him really easily. Well, so while, yeah. while your Delphox was melting things at really high temperature, part of the reason I also picked Greninja is I love my Pokedex entries. It creates throwing stars out of compressed water. And when it yeah. spins them and throws them at high speed, these stars can split metal in two. Which Yeah, have you ever have you like, ever been cut by water? Yeah, water's gonna it's F painful. you up. Yeah. It's painful. And, um, and it's not just cut by water, but if certain you know, if you get water like up in your bloodstream, you're dead. No, I <laughs> like I, it's I messed was, up, man. I was using a pressure washer once years and years ago and I I got it. I was I was holding something with my hand and pressure washing it because you know I'm smart and I sliced my hand open with the pressure washer. It was a horrible pain. Oh that yeah, hurts. and and you've got to get that. Make sure that's clean because <laughs> it, it would get infected really bad. Like yeah, that it gets it gets nuts. hurts. Uh, yeah, it, so it, my number five Pokemon is Trevenant. So you know it's like it's a tree Revenant. Nice. Uh, Ghost Grass type. Now, this one, I didn't choose because he is particularly great. He's not bad. Base stats was uh, 474, so he's not bad. Not he has a terrible, high but there's, there's only two yeah, there's, evolution. It's only a second evolution. There's no more to it, so he, do, he doesn't yeah. get that really high stat base. He, and he's weak to a decent amount of things, being ghost grass type, which kind of sucks, but 
obviously this is this is my ghost one that you know they do so cool with these ghost guys and so oh, yeah. his it it can control trees at will and then just like just like tree beard or like when you're in the that what, what were the, what were the woods called fangorn forest fangorn forest yep uh it will trap people who harm the forest and so they can never leave again yep you're stuck in the forest until you die um, yeah you are you just disappear so it is awesome i like it it's said to devour anybody who dares to ravage the forest Mm -hmm. which is horrifying yeah and that's about it that's as deep as it goes for that one i mean that that's completely fair and being a (laughs) newer pokemon he doesn't trevenant doesn't suffer from the shiny curse where the shiny is ugly as (laughs) shit no he's got all white with red leaves instead of green and it looks awesome he looks like a yeah, ghost yeah. and it is yeah sweet <laughs> it's I, I, really I cool. thought the ghost i thought the ghost grass typing was super unique uh up to now and his appearances in the tv show were, were really fucking cool like when he pretty much kidnaps ash because of pseudo wudo needing rescued they have this really cool scene in it where there's a, a dead trevenant and it's just covered in moss and leaves and it just looks kind of like a tree which i don't know how you how a ghost becomes deceased I don't I haven't figured that one out. Look, but man, you know, Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> that's that's Pokemon. all you need to know. So, what would you pick number? Well, my next uh, one is a little bit different than I, than I've done because usually the first you're bird, trying today, you're trying to shake things up. I, I, I am. Around. I am. Huh. The yeah. first the first bird you come across in every generation is garbage. You use them for a couple HMs and then you toss them in the you know Fair. And, Fair. and forget about. Yeah. Them. You, you toss them in the bank and forget about them. Almost always. Not this generation. I loved this evolutionary train. And my number my number two is Talonflame. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead. I was I was going to talk about that in, in it, not next, but it is on my list. So I'll go ahead and throw it in with you. I, I love loved, I love Talonflame. The He's design of it. The, Badass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's, he's known line. as the scorching Pokemon, which is pretty badass sounding itself bro you know think he's about that fire flying that's insane it's only weak against three other types it's resistant to six and immune to obviously ground with it being flying now, one and of the types it's weak against is a four times because it's rock but, but i mean besides how, that how water and electric that's that. it you know it's so fast so it fast. Is, oh my goodness base that's almost up to 500 126 Man, it is, speed such a fucking useful pokemon it, it is one of the most useful flying pokemon since pidgeot back in the day i agree i agree and again we're we're, we're touching on the the pokedex entries you know the first one not uh, eh. in the fever of an exciting battle it showers embers cool no what's crazy about this one is when attacking prey it can reach speeds of up to 310 so miles bad. for miles per hour so and then bad. it finishes off its prey with a kick <laughs> so it's literally flying and kicking you with talons that are on fire at 300 miles per yeah. hour and it's it's attacks are <laughs> it's attacks are fucking good it's typings fucking useful but yeah no it's talon flame was great i love them super useful i think one of the more u- most useful ones in this game for x and y well since you kind of skipped ahead what, what was that your your third one that you've talked oh, about yeah i got three left all right well my third one is probably the one that people were most excited one of the ones that people were most excited about about this generation especially with the introduction of the new type is it gonna fairy. be mine it's sylveon my, yeah okay i got that one too this is gonna be a quick one no yeah i mean it it, it almost has to be on the list it was yeah, no it, it was does. a new evolution you can't not have the new it was the evolution. first one on the list list and it wasn't this the first evolution that came out as one uh, instead of a pair yeah yeah well you because you had the the first three and then you got two more and then you got two more and then this one came out all on its own which is weird, but it's it's such a good looking. Like, is there a bad looking evolution? Is is has there been one? Because I don't think there has. I, yeah. I don't think there they, has. There's, they nail there's it been some that are a little more basic, but they still look 
cool. They still look really good. Yeah, they nailed it with this one. It's got two weaknesses. I, I will say the whole flesh, Based at the flesh bow thing is a little weird. I, I will throw that out there, that the bow and the ribbons are flesh, and that's a no, little I'm weird. No, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. You but, picked a frog ninja <laughs> that has a tongue scarf. <laughs> I was hoping you mentioned now? that. I was hoping you mentioned <laughs> No, I, I I love the design. You know, the pink and blue, the color combo is fantastic. The, sh- the shiny is literally just flip the colors. And I love that because <laughs> it, it means yeah. you're not getting into these weird, let's change this color to green and this one this to one, yeah, purple. Yeah, this one is green for no apparent reason. Yeah. <laughs> because some of the shinies just don't make sense and, and don't even look. I'm, I'm wondering like, well, well who some of the original this? shiny, some of the, I, so to throw out there, some of the original shinies were that way because of the color limitations of the Game Boys at the time. So it, they, and that. they just kind of stuck with it that. instead of retconning it. I would much rather have them <laughs> retcon it and change it to something that doesn't look like shit. But we won't go too mm-hmm. far into that. We won't go too mm-hmm. far into that. We're, we're talking about Sylveon. We're talking about the Pokemon that wraps its ribbon like feelers around the arm of its beloved trainer to walk with him or her yeah. how sweet is that and then I mean, sylveon's going to like wreck your face because its special <laughs> attack is 110 and its special defense is 130 like it, it, no it's super they did such a good job with this they did such a good job and it is again this is another one in the tcg right now is so fucking useful i mean it's just I, it's not it's not great f- like the, for it's not like some of the other ones that you can just kind of throw in any deck but it's got a v and a v max and when you're running this uh rapid um the rapid strike decks it is really it's got a great special ability that is super useful it's it's also i i like the design and i like it for a couple reasons one because ev has a 87 and a half percent chance of being male, which means your Sylveon is going to be male, but it has primarily what people would consider feminine colors. And I, I kind of like that it breaks through that gender stereotype in Pokemon a little bit. It's kind of taking a yeah. step out of like, oh, this Pokemon looks girly, so it's a girl. It doesn't have to be. Kind of like Delphox. You know, you look at Delphox and you think Delphox would be a girl, but no, most Delphox are going to be male. So I, this generation really took a step forward with that too. Whether intentional or not, I still like it. So if for those of you who love the TCG, the Rapid Strike version of Sylveon is a psychic type and it incorporates some of the sort of more like the fact that it can learn some a few psychic moves naturally in the game that aren't attacks so it's got one that uh on on the v max where you can attach an energy card from your hand to one of your bench pokemon and if you do that you heal 120 from that pokemon so that's kind of crazy (laughs) you can just be rotating them out switching them out and just loading up and then its other attack for that uh v max does 30 damage for each different type of pokemon you have typing pokemon you have on your bench so it's it starts with a base of 70 and if you have a bench of five different pokemon types you are just demolishing i'm not going to do the math five times 30 plus 70 (laughs) 150 plus they've did 220 (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there you, there you go it. buddy there you go <laughs> i'm ass well maybe we won't have the the next one to talk about together <laughs> maybe <laughs> i don't know the way this is going you're going to be we'll out see. of pokemon before i finish with my list <laughs> no i know <laughs> i'm just gonna whatever he's a, well, so moving, what is your moving on next moving one? on i guarantee our last two are not the same i i, I guarantee you uh, and i have three I was supposed to be going first. Oh, no, did you go I first this time? I don't know. I did go first, yeah. So you do have three, don't you? Yeah, I, I've got three. So we're going to narrow that down with my next one. And my next one is, the, you know, I have to pick one, at least one, that has a messed up Pokedex yeah. entry. And it, yeah. I pick it 99% because of that reason. <laughs> the, this Pokemon is that. It's Malamar. God damn it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> So I love Malamar because you have to hold the console 
upside down to evolve it. Yes, yes. Malamar <laughs> is on my list. It, Damn it. it. It's Bless. so silly that you have to hold it upside down, but I love this Malamar. Is what I was talking about that. They did crazy things with they this did. system, and it was fun. And, and now the, I'll, I'll give it like a lot of what they did was just like cool. It wasn't like awesome additions to the game. It was very, what would you call it? It was, it was very sort of. I had the word for it earlier, and now I don't. I don't remember the word I was gonna. It'll say. be okay. It'll be okay. Oh, you fucked me up, man. You <laughs> fucked me all up because I picked the same. God Look, damn it. man, Malamar's Pokedex entry is messed up. So okay. he's dark. I will say that. psychic. I will, Malamar I will say is that, dark like, psychic in the game. Not the best. Uh, no, no, it. it Less than it's south 400, of five hundred base. Yeah, four hundred eighty-two. Yeah. Nothing breaks a hundred. No, but the typing is good. Typing advantage is is pretty good. But yeah, like you well, said, well, considering between, it's only weak against two things, bug and fairy. That's it. Yeah, that that's yeah. that's pretty decent. But look, the Pokedex entry on this one is fucked up. It's fucked yeah, up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I'll, I'll, I'll read the two. It wields the most compelling hypnotic powers of any Pokemon, and it forces others to do whatever it wants. That's kind yeah. of terrifying. You know, dark psychic, you make it, you, you do what you want. No, that's not the scary part. The scary part is it lures prey close with hypnotic motions and then wraps its tentacles around it before finishing it off with digestive fluids. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a squid. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's an upside down squid. It's so, terrifying. Yeah. Now... And you know, one of the main reasons I picked it is because the Malamar deck in TCG will wreck. It and is, you played is it against, just really good. You played against my, my, uh, I, I don't, I, I never finished my Malamar deck because I don't have the in- Inteleon version that I, I want to put in it. But I, That's you fair. saw how the mechanics work with it. Oh, and yeah. And it is just. Dev- it can be devastating and the great thing about the malamar rapid strike deck is you don't have any v or v max so your your opponent's drawn one prize card at a time while mm-hmm. you can still take out their v's in one hit and be drawn to yep. so it's yeah just, it, it, it is it, it is pretty silly. intense i will say malamar in the show wasn't as great because Didn't really james much yeah it was part of the team rocket they made it yeah they made it team rocket which made it silly. less interesting yeah but i mean it was still a really cool pokemon it's shiny does suffer sure. from the shiny curse it's weirdly green and pinky colored <laughs> see i was gonna i was gonna introduce my malamar pick my unique not many people will probably pick this Pokemon Malamar pick with, is it great in the anime? No, no, not very good. Is it good in the game? No. Also, no, no, no not very no. good. Not, <laughs> <laughs> but is it good in the TCG? Yes, it is fantastic. If you Good in the TCG right. and terrifying. Yes, it, it could have been, could have been. Um, but like you said, they made it part of Team Rocket, which inevitably makes it goofy and softens it a bit but yeah it is what it is it it can be terrifying well i, I so guess i'll move last, on to my well, next one my last one why don't you tell me what my last one is <laughs> okay we'll, uh... this one likely is not your last <laughs> one and, and and pretty pretty positive that it's not your last one i know that you're not gonna have my last one because you won't do legendaries so this one this one's pretty unique. Again, this generation did a lot of kind of fun things with it. And this is one of yeah, the few yeah. Pokemon in the newer generations that you have to trade to evolve. And it's only... Good to see that come back. It's only More. two. There's only two Pokemon that that have it like this. And it has four different forms depending on the size when you first encounter it. Oh, yeah. And it's Which Gorgeist. Is cool. It is cool. Or Gourgeist. It is <laughs> however you want to say it is it, it is super cool I, the pumpkin it's the pumpkin it is it's the pumpkin and it, it evolves really cool from punk pumpkaboo which is an adorable name and an adorable pokemon let's be honest yeah it's super unique like uh, oh i i know it's ghost grass this is my ghost say. grass choice right it's super unique, but like I said, the the uniqueness they bring to it is really gimmicky. So not always useful, not always 
the best like addition no, to a game. Just just but, shy of five hundred base stats. It does have high attack and really high defense though. Right. Which I mean it's it's not a bad Pokemon at all. But uh like I said, the the stuff they choose is gimmicky in this, but honestly they did it in a really good way to where if they emulated it again in the future, they would I, I think would be successful. And this is one of those examples, kind of like the seasonal stuff they flirted with in the past, where it's like, look, man, uh, shit's different sizes. You know, you, know, you get a big pumpkin or a different. little pumpkin. It's like you're going to the pumpkin patch and you pick out a really big one or you pick out a little tiny one. Yeah, it's super Honestly, cool. Honestly, I like it. That's not even close to the reason why I picked it, because this generation had two that I picked it we because know. of the Pokedex entries, <laughs> because this one's this even more one. fucked up than Malamar. It is pretty messed up. Singing in eerie voices, they wander town streets on the night of the new moon. Anyone who hears their song is cursed. You just be chilling at home, yep. just chilling at home, and this thing decides to walk by your house, and you're, you're, you're cursed. That's it. You're done. Sorry. Oh, Sorry about but, your luck. You know, but it gets a, even worse than of, that. Yeah. It gets even worse than that. It enwraps its prey in its hair-like arms. It sings joyfully as it observes the suffering of its prey. <laughs> this thing enjoys your <laughs> suffering. Uh, that's fantastic. It is happy that you are dying in its arms. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great, great. I love it. <laughs> There was, and, there, was a, there was quite a few really good tales out of this series. Oh, too. yeah. Oh, yeah. And the shiny's pretty sweet. You know, the orange turns to purple for the yeah. the hair, the arms, and the pumpkin turns black with a yellow light inside, which is pretty cool looking. I really like that. But yeah, I, I picked two this time around because simply because of the Pokedex entries because that's fucked up yeah. when I was reading through <laughs> that and it sings joyfully as it observes the suffering of its prey. Like, mm, mm-hmm. that's messed yeah. up. Do that's it. messed up. <laughs> messed up. So my right. final, what's our last Pokemon. one? What's our last now one? that I can finally s- say something for a change. You fucking dick. It is <laughs> psychic ghost. Ooh. It's not weak to much. It is. It's not sh- super strong against much, but it's also it's not it's only weak against two things. And it is Hoopa, the Look. mischief gin Pokemon. <laughs> Hoopa is interesting. And this dude, and so he's 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 the mischief god. You know, he's the Loki of this gen of Pokemon. He is super fun, super cool. Looks pretty badass. Uh oh yeah. It's high stats. Base stats are crazy. Six hundred base good. stats. He's he's sitting at a hundred fifty special for attack first for the combined form. You know, with with his attacks. I mean, even his his normal attack. When you get to the unbound hoop unbound, it's even one sixty attack, one seventy special attack, six hundred eighty base stats. And then I mean, and he changes it, from psychic ghost to psychic dark. Yeah, which makes him even more intense. And his shiny is all gold. Yeah. How about that? How about the apples? And the and movie kind of sucked, to be honest. It, well, yeah, they. <laughs> I haven't been happy with those for a while. <laughs> but what, it's neither near here there nor there. But he is just super good. Obviously, he's he's a legendary in the game. He's super good. the The storyline, the premise, and all that shit is really cool. Really fucking cool. Yeah. Um. In in the card game. He's one of the most useful V's out there. You can pretty much drop him into any deck and he'll be great for you. Like he doesn't like you're not necessarily going to build one a deck around him. But if you dropped him into your Mew V deck, like he's going to tear shit up for you. And he's just just like that. He's just that useful. And I mean, that's that's another one. I there were out of this series. There were and still are a lot of really good fucking yeah, I, uh, TCG and Hoopa, which I, I think the form in the new card, the Hoopa V Fusion Strike is the unbound I mean, version shoot. of him. And in it's unbound form. How many Pokemon can carry off an entire castle just to steal the treasure? <laughs> 
but his ability is good because when he's in play, he's both psychic and dark. So if you're running different decks, it can help. And then his his shadow impact does 170. And he, he just, I mean, you got to put three counters onto one of your Pokemon, not on it, but any of your Pokemon. Now, so a, a slight disclaimer out. as well for anybody listening who haven't played Hoopa is originally from X and Y. The unbound form is exclusive to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So that you right, can't right. get it in any other game, which I right. think is a little dumb, you know, bring it into the newer stuff, but you know, we're we're not going to we're not going to go there. But right, but so if if you're running the Gengar dark sort of format and standard or you're running the Mew or you're running the the new um Arceus you're throw a couple hoopas in your deck and you're going to be fucking doing great with it. Oh, I, I, I guess I will correct and say that in sun and moon, you can get the unbound form, but that's it. So that wraps up mine. What did you choose? So I, I, I broke out of, of my chains and I changed up what my last one was going to be again. You I did. Just, you're just full of change today. And it's the second pure fairy on my list. Oh, nice. Mainly because this one is majestic as fuck. And it's Xerneas. Oh, nice. I loved Xerneas. I picked X because of Xerneas on the cover. The whole, the, the active mode where it's this just like super majestic fairy elk thing. Ah, man, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy looking. Of course, it is legendary. It's got base stats of 680. It is a powerhouse. It's not super fast, but 131 attack, 131 special attack, and 126 HP. This thing is tanky and hits hard. Yeah, and no, that's that's what that's the one I chose. As far as the TCG goes, it wasn't uh, not currently not as useful. Although the Evil Evil Toll Evil Toll is he is it is he Yiddish? Evil Toll. He's he's got some uses in the in the current standard where Xerneas sure. does and not. They released uh, both of them with the 25 anniversary set. Uh, that came out, which are they are both playable in standard, but nice, nice. It, in the game, super cool. It reminds me a lot of Princess Mononoke, the yeah, the the forest spirit, the forest spirit, the forest god. But that forest god brought life and death. This one is all about life, all about yes. life, and it that's part of part of the thing. It can share eternal life. Like, how crazy is that? It sleeps for a thousand years in the form of a tree. It gets revived. And then when it's it, when its horns shine, it's sharing everlasting life, which right. is is pretty awesome. Yeah, it was super cool. In, in contrary, and- you, you do have Evatol, which was the, the kind of opposite of that. It was absorbing he's, life he's, force he's, of he's, living he's, creatures. He's Yiddish. It's Evatol. <laughs> I, I do so pronunciation. I, I honestly am not a huge fan of Ivatal's design. The the whole forcing it to look like a the letter Y was <laughs> <No>. a little. <laughs> it's pretty, it's, I think he's pretty cool though. It, I do I mean, like the Xerneas better, but he's pretty cool. And, yeah. and but Xerneas his shiny is really fairy, cool. But the fairy type is yep. super useful. Oh like, yeah, just, come on. And pure fairy, uh, pure fairy. So yeah. it literally only has. Two weaknesses, poison Two, and yeah. steel, and that's it. Yeah. And Which, it, it it's not often you get Pokemon that are that have so few weaknesses. Right. And and the poison and steel types, uh not the strongest attack. Not as moves common those. either. I do like I'll throw out so one one of the steel Pokemon I do like out of this generation is Steel Ghost, which is super unique also, and it's a just slash. Age of um, Slash is really cool. I, I like. Really I really cool liked Pokemon. Halucha out of this generation. Halucha, as well, we, we as talked well. about Fighting his, flying. His, his TCG card that was banned. That was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. You had uh, you had the, the Tyrannos Tyrannosaurus. You had yeah, the Rock the, Dragon with Tyranitrum. Pancham uh, and and Pangoro were very cool. Florgus. Well, I, I think it's Florgus, but. Uh, yeah was really cool like it's <laughs> super cool generation all, all except for the barbacool which 
<laughs> yeah, that one in Slurpuff. I, I can't say I'm a big fan of the Slurpuff either. Which one was Slurpuff? Uh, the the derpy looking fairy with its tongue perpetually sticking out of its mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not a huge fan of that one either. Esper was pretty pretty fun. I did enjoy Esper and the Meow Stick. Noi- Noivern was really good. Uh, flying Dragon. Mm-hmm. Out, out of this one this one had a lot of really fun and like like we've said really unique even zygarde the whole concept of having to collect all the the little cells to bring it to its complete form was a, an interesting yeah. way of being able to get a legendary pokemon a mythical pokemon so that one was really cool but we want to know as always we want to know what your favorite gen 6 pokemon was if you have a full party or even just yeah. one Reach out to us on Facebook, well, it Twitter, sounds like you, Instagram, probably, YouTube. Um, at least three of them are going to be the same as mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you're at, at least you're going <laughs> to have a few of the same. I guarantee it. Yeah, I guarantee it. But yeah, reach out. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, 2DAP2020. Email us at 2DAP2020 at gmail.com. And of course, next time on Two Dads and a Podcast. We haven't next thought that time, far ahead, I don't think. I have thought that far ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we're going to do. So, uh, th- I, we I'm have really doing it this time. I'm eight. really doing it. He's muted. He is legitimately muted this time. He is actually muted. I did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> okay, okay, you're back. You're I back. Picked, we picked our five favorite Smash Mouth songs, and that is uh <laughs> It's just the same song over and over. <laughs> it's not even a Smash Mouth song. It was when I saw them live a few years ago, <laughs> they did this cover of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song. And that is my favorite <laughs> Smash Mouth song. That's it's great. Smash Mouth cover, covering the Fresh Prince Bel Air. That's great. That's great. I crowd surfed to it. <laughs> I lost my pocket. But anyway, I didn't lose guys. the stuff out of my pocket. I lost my actual pocket and, and a shoe. <laughs> but as always, guys, thank you so much for listening. We love you all. <laughs>